Right, Mr. Palmer here. Got a video on hash tables. This is the introduction, okay? Because the next video is going to go into more detail about how everything's working, okay? So this is basically just literally fly and visit what are hash tables, all right? So if you remember from before when we have talked about hash algorithms, uh, we're taking an input of variable size, we're producing outputs of fixed size, and we want to, um, we're running some kind of formula, okay, algorithm over that input uh, to produce uh, quite varied different outputs okay and very similar inputs should generate very different outputs uh, that were, they were the features of a good hash algorithm now basically well, this is an example of a hash function that might use modulo all right so we're gonna pass in some kind of value on a key field it's a numeric value and uh, we are basically working out the modulus in this case I'm using 13 and I'm going to return whatever value is generated from there okay so for example um, if I hash one I'll get a remainder of one if I hash two a remainder of two hash seven gives a remainder of seven hash ten gives a remainder of seven okay now basically a hash table is when you are combining an array with a hash algorithm and the hash algorithm in this case is being used to t determine the address with where which where, uh, where we are going to basically be storing the data all right so uh, if my key field has a value of one and I run my modulo hash algorithm on it as I was doing before, I get one and therefore at location number one, uh, index number one in the array, that's where I'm going to be storing that value of that data. Okay, same thing. Uh, if I have a value of two uh, on my uh, key field and I hash that, then uh, it was my function was returning an address of two. So therefore at index two in my array, I want to store that data and so on and so forth. Okay, so the most simplistic version of this algorithm for storing data, and this is going to be significantly extended in the next video, is that basically all I'm doing is I'm hashing my key field in order to get an address, all right, and then I'm going to store that data at the address. Uh, if I want to retrieve the data, basically I'm going to hash the key field to get an address, and then I'm going to go to that address, and like magic, that data should therefore be accessible from that address okay so you should basically from here be able to answer what is a hash table where we got an array and we're using a hash algorithm to determine the address where that data has been stored okay that's it